Hello, West Titan Warriors. Today I'm going to share with you a story entitled Memoirs of a Parrot. And this book is part of a series. If you enjoy this story, you might also enjoy Memoirs of a Hamster and Memoirs of a Goldfish. And for those of you who may be wondering just what is a memoir, it's simply a story that someone shares about their life and their day-to-day -day events. So during this time, you might also want to write a memoir of your daily activity entitled Memoirs of Coronavirus or the Quarantine Memoirs. Let's begin. Memoirs of Paris. Day one. Wilbur's Pet Store is closed today. Good. No rude people staring into my cage. I just sit and chit chat with TikTok. We're the only parrots. Here, apparently, the only talkers. The dogs just yap all day. The fish don't even try to say anything. I think the cats might be able to, but they never do. Day two. Wilbur's pet store is open today. Bad. This place is packed. Lots of strange people, and they're all talkers. They seem to be to think my name is Polly, and that I want a cracker. Uh, no, and no. Day three. What is it with these people? They keep asking, Polly want a cracker. That's terrible grammar, by the way. TikTok says, I should try to enjoy the attention. Please, I'd rather gargle a pine cone. Day four. I'm exhausted. Today, a guy spent an hour asking me my name. I kept telling him, Brock. I said, Brock, Brock, Brock. He looked very disappointed. I guess he wanted me to say something else like Polly. Day five. He's back. His name's Todd. And he won't leave me alone. TikTok says one day I may have to go home with Todd. Yes, apparently I'm for sale. That's a heck of a thing to find out. Go home with Todd? Please. I'd rather eat a pile of steak berries. Day six. TikTok was right. Todd handed Wilbur some money and he's taking me home. This is terrible. TikTok said I need to keep an open mind and that it would be a very, he, it could be very nice. Maybe Todd lives in a beautiful rainforest with lots of bananas and butterflies. So that would be cool. Day seven. Nope. Todd lives in a tiny house near a freeway. No bananas, no butterflies. And guess what he does? He gives me a cracker. Seriously? Even worse, Todd has learned to play the ukulele. He sounds horrible. Do I have to stay here? Please, I'd rather kiss a rattlesnake. Day eight, Todd gave me another cracker today. And just as I was about to throw it back to him, I realized there was a toaster right next to my cage. When Todd wasn't looking, I dropped the cracker into the toaster and then snatched it out in midair when it popped back up. These things are actually pretty good when they're warm. Day nine. Todd came in today with another cracker. He said, say thank you. So I did. Crop, I said. No, he said very slowly. Thank you. So that's it. He wants me to speak his language. Fat chance. Oops. I said. He sighed and sat down to play his ukulele. Day 10. Here he goes again, Todd in his language. He has his language and I have mine. Only it's worse now because he decides my name is Echo. Echo, he says. Echo? Brock, I said. Brock, Echo, 
Wow, this goes on for hours. Dude, give it up. Day 11. Today, Todd took me back to the pet shop. While he complained about me to Wilbur, I complained about him to TikTok. He's awful, I said. He won't even learn my name. But you've got a nice cage, asked TikTok. Yes, very nice, I said. And he keeps you warm and dry? Yep, I said, warm and dry. He feeds you? Um, yes, I said. Toasted crackers, some figs, pretty good. TikTok said, he sounds nice. Maybe he's just not that bright. He can still be your friend. Please, I'd rather wear a sweater made of ants. Day 12. So get this. After two hours of Todd's English lessons, he said, Echo, maybe you're just not that bright. What? Not that bright. I speak 17 languages. I can name all the moons of Jupiter. I can count to a zillion backwards twice, Todd said. It's okay, Echo. You can still be my friend. Keep your fingers away from my beak, pal. That's all I can say. Day 13. Todd gave up pretty quickly today. It's pretty frustrating. He's learning his ukulele, but he doesn't really want to learn his parrot. It's lost. I'm not saying anything. My beak is sealed. Day 14. I'm sitting here eating a fig and listening to Todd play. He's actually getting pretty good. I know, I know. Music and figs. How can I complain? But either Todd needs to learn to talk like me or he can take me right back to Wilbur. I could explain this to him, but please, I'd rather set my feathers on fire. Day 15. I nearly set my feathers on fire. Today changes everything. Todd went to bed last night and he decided to toast a cracker. I waited for it to pop up and waited and waited, but it never did. Suddenly a lot of smoke started pouring out of the toaster. There was no keeping quiet any longer. Todd! 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 I hollered. He woke up, smelled the smoke, and just ran out of the house. Sure, save yourself, I thought. The toaster just kept bleeping, smoke into the cage. Suddenly, Ty came running back into the kitchen. I thought he was coming back for his ukulele, but I was wrong. He came back for me. Ty reached right into the smoke and unplugged the toaster. He grabbed my cage, took me outside, and started fanning fresh air to my face. He'd saved me. I couldn't believe it, but he'd saved me. He pulled me out of the cage and said, Echo, are you okay? Are you okay? What else could I do? Thank you, I said. He looked at me and leaned closer. What? Echo said, thank you, I said. Tears welled up in his eyes, and a huge smile took over his sweet, goofy face. You're welcome. You're so welcome, he cried. Then Todd said, you're smarter than I thought. I said, you're a lot smarter than I thought. He wiped the soot off my face. That was nice. He sat me on his shoulder, and we watched the moon come up while we waited for the smoke to clear. Things are different for Todd and me. He still plays that ukulele, but now he plays and I sing in his language, and that's okay. We can still be friends, my best friends, Todd and me. We're staying together for keeps. Please, there's nothing I'd rather do. Memoirs of a Parrot. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.